okay people this year we have let I just show you inside See, this right here is a mobile barber shop now available by me come to your workplace school office anywhere bring the barber shop to you yes people contact for further info on the spot news media we got the latest news we don't care about the views we just represent and write put local news internationally every night on the spot wave that jamaican flag from left to right let's get it right y'all know the type we ain't dealing with the hype we make it take flight yeah man my viewers and subscribers what uh guan a blessed and wonderful Thursday morning to each and every person out there tuning into On The Spot News Media. Now, my peeps, I don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning. We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest. So now the morning and my peeps have a few stories for share with you, the regular members of Chan Public and also members of the diaspora. So please like the video, share the video, watch the entire vlog so you can get a full understanding and a better appreciation of everything we are going in Jamaica. So now the morning and my peeps, we are going to kick it off with a bit of international news. You don't know say so once it affects are involved Jamaicans we definitely have to bring it to you the regular members of Chan Public and especially those living in the diaspora so right now down at Florida have an anti-immigration law and what you need to know about this law that this law is very very serious so all Jamaicans living in the state of Florida who is presently undocumented especially you on a need to listen to this no hospitals will be allowed to ask patients for their immigration status and report it so if you're sick or you go to a hospital they have the authority to ask you your immigration status this endangers those needing medical attention who are now afraid to go to hospitals now florida will also be blocking undocumented people from becoming attorneys including those with the daca already practicing law if you are undocumented and have an out-of-state driver's license your driver's license will not be recognized in the state of florida it will also be a felony charge if you shelter or hire anyone undocumented now the party are really really serious my peeps even if you have a friend or your yard or a family member or your yard who is undocumented you can be charged with a felony a serious business are going on there and you can't get nobody in a walk without them documentation the thing well serious a john shop this will make it a felony punishable up to 15 years in prison for driving someone undocumented into florida boy may i tell you the thing rough so this new anti-immigration bill the sb 1718 bill has been passed by both florida houses and also to include the senate and is now on the desk of the governor so once signed off by florida's governor DeSantis, that's the name of the governor in florida it will go in effect on the 1st of July, 2023. So to all my fellow Jamaicans presently in that state, now is a good time for you to seek refuge elsewhere. There is presently 50 states in America. Florida is just one. So a word to the wise is always sufficient. So anyway, my peeps, make we get back to local style. Now, over there in Western Jamaica, we have seen an uptick in crime and violence. And the knackis and clappies them continue to perpetrate their crimes against us, the regular members of Chan Public. 
and on uh, the 7th of May on a Sunday, a woman was taken out in a hail of bullets at her business establishment in Hanover. So the deceased woman has since been identified as 53-year-old Margarita Samuels, otherwise known as Claudette of a Zion district address in Hopewell, Hanover. So reports from the Sandy Bay police is that sometime about 4.05 p.m., Miss Samuels and several other patrons were at her business establishment in Opwell when three men posing as customers entered that facility. Now the criminal elements opened gunfire hitting Miss Samuels and patrons before making their escape. The police were summoned and all four persons were transported to the hospital where Samuels was pronounced you know what. Now the others comprising of two men and a woman was admitted for treatment. So let me get into the meat of the matter right now. Now on your screen, my peeps, is a 17-year-old female identified as Shari Dustin. She's of a hopeful address in Hanover. And on the 7th of May, when those criminal elements took out 52-year-old Margarita Samuels, known as Claudette in the streets. They also took the life of this 17-year-old. But the thing about Shari Dustin's life being taken is that Shari Dustin was a passenger in a motor vehicle when the two armed criminals walked into the business establishment operated by the 52-year-old Claudette Samuels and opened fire taking her life. The men then fired several wild shots, as all we Jamaicans would call it, hitting Dustin, the teenager, in the motor vehicle that was transporting her. She was, however, taken to the hospital and was being treated but succumbed to injuries from the bullets that hit her in her head by the way by those callous criminals so now that 17 year old is no longer among the land of the living so i'm pretty sure that the residents of zion district is still in mourning for the life of the 53 year old margarita samuels and of course, residents of the Hopewell district in Hanover is definitely in mourning for the life of the 17-year-old Shari Dustin, who definitely was not a part of anything that was going on there, just a passerby in a motor vehicle. Now, Jamaican Jamaicans, how long are we going to just stand by and allow these criminal elements to just take the lives of our loved ones wantonly. Now I have the very disturbing video footage. I'm going to put it on my Instagram page so you can go over there and watch it if you have not yet seen it. And hear the cries of a woman whilst several bullets being pumped in her body. Poor I may I tell you. That video is definitely not for the faint-hearted. You will not see, but just hearing her cries will definitely turn your stomach. These criminal elements must be caught by whatsoever means necessary. So on your screen is pictures of the criminal elements who carried out that brutal and wicked attack on Claudette and also on Shari. So this one presently on your screen was seen in the shop posing as a customer. And when you go over and watch the video, you will definitely see for yourself what I'm making mention of. Now, this other one is a controversial figure. He is known as Quells in his community. This brother here is son of an other known gunman. Yeah, man. So, so the father, so the son. 
Pupa was a corner boy. Same so him come. Now I'm pretty sure many of you, the regular members of Chan Public, I'm not for sure where the first one is from. But the second one is from the district of Success in Hanover. So I'm pretty sure the ones and ones them know these criminal elements. So we are definitely counting on you, the regular members of Chan Public, not to sit idly by and allow these criminal elements to walk freely whilst Claudette and Shari is laying on a block of ice waiting to be buried. So my peeps, do the right thing. If you know something, say something. Let us not sit and wait like sitting ducks for these criminal elements to take another one of our loved one's life. Let us not sit and wait for it to come knocking on our doors before we open our mouth and say something. Do the right thing. A word to the wise is always sufficient. So anyway, my peeps, remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in a subsequent newscast. On The Spot News Media. Yeah, man.